In this tutorial, we're going to make some dubstep style drum phrases in Ableton Live. Notice up top, I have my tempo set to 140. Most dubstep beats have a tempo that's around 140. I've also prepared a bass line to work with using the operator synth. It's important to create these two elements together, as the more the two play off each other, the more effective the vibe and the beat will be. Below, I have a drum kit set up. Let's take a quick listen to the sounds. So I have some kicks, a snare, a clap, a couple hi-hats, and some tambourines. Also have a sound effect. Alright, now that we've checked out the sounds, let's look into some dubstep patterns. I'm going to start with the kick and the clap. Now I'm not going to get too deep into the sound design aspect, but I'll definitely mention that these drums are layered and designed to hit very hard. Alright, now the kick and the snare are very simple in our main pattern. We'll have only one per bar. The kick on the one, and the snare on the three. Alright, now this sort of gives it a halftime kind of feel. Now let's add some hats. Since we only have one kick and one snare per bar, we need something to fill this pattern in and give it some groove. We'll use the hats to fill in the space between the kick and snare and sort of lead us from the kick to the snare and then the snare back to the kick. The hats act as the connection between the two. I'm going to play back the bass line I made so I can sort of play off of it when I make these patterns. In the end, I think it'll give me more effective results. All right, so I'm gonna start playback. And I'm just, all I'm doing here is just option dragging or alt dragging on Windows. And now I'm just selecting all these and just option dragging again to the second half of the bar. And I think that's a good basic pattern to start off. With. Obviously, we're going to add in more kicks, snares, a lot more hats and everything. But I think this is a very nice beginning. All right, so I'm just going up to the top, duplicating my original drum clip. And I'm going to start playback. And I think I'm just going to add another quick kick right here. And then one on the fourth beat. Now I want to take care of my hi-hats. You notice how they have that machine gun sound. I haven't touched the velocity, but I'm going to jump in. two to four bar cycles. I'm going to use a two bar cycle. So I'm just selecting everything now that I got my one bar down and I'm just going to duplicate. So I just now I have my two bar cycle. And I'm going to take that kick out. So now let's create another pattern with a bit more energy to it. So I'm just going up top, duplicating my previous pattern. And I'm just going to, again, add some more hats and some more kicks. And when our track starts picking up energy, we'll drop this in. So let me start playing back. I'm going to switch up the bass line. 
final pattern where we kind of tie everything together and just make this drum beat a bit more tight. So again I'm just going to go up duplicate and I'm just going to start by get rid of that kick, add one right there. And I'm just going to add a note with a very short velocity there, kind of like a ghost note. And I'm going to start taking out some of the hats, specifically the ones up on the snare. So I can kind of showcase that. And just add a bit of space. Right. I'm just going to add a little more velocity there. And another kick. Take that one out. And that's the basic idea. Now it's all about creating variations by using the other elements in your track, especially your bass line, as a guide. Other things to try are adding triplets to the hats and adding some of Live's grooves to the patterns. Also experiment with effects. For instance, add a big reverb to the snare and then add another thinner reverb to the whole kit to give it that dark feel and add some depth. Lastly, make sure to check out dubspot.com for more production tutorials and tips. Thanks a lot and take care.